Hey, what's up everybody? All right, we're going over scene number five and this is called Nebula for all of your beautiful space requirements. So the first thing I wanna mention is this chromatic aberration. And this is pretty rad because um, if you didn't know, you can't actually add chromatic aberration in Octane. It's not a post effect that they have. If you turn that on, now we have chromatic aberration that's starting to resolve on this spaceship, which is pretty rad. I'm actually gonna turn this off just so that we can see it faster for our tutorial. If you look at this nebula back here and we click on the uh, aberration amount and kick that up, see that we're really getting that nice RGB split on these, which is pretty rad. And then if we turn this on and off, you'll notice that the uh, focal length of the camera is actually affected by the aberration, which is normal. And we have a lens compensation slider to uh, adjust for that so you can play around with the uh, compensation. All right, so that's the chromatic aberration. Let's jump into some other things like the stars here. So let me add a new camera to our scene and we're just gonna slide it over a little bit into the star field. So under stars, we have star amount. Right now it's at 0.5 and we can kick that all the way up. So we can play around the star scale as well if we wanna make the stars larger or smaller. And this is such a great system because even if you crank this all the way up, none of these stars are overlapping. So it's a really nice uh, setup here to make kind of that infinite galaxy look. We also have sun scale, power, temperature, if you need to kick that up, if your object in the space scene is a little bit dim, you can play around with those. All right, so let's talk about the nebulas. If we zoom back over to the nebula situation. All right, so here's one of our nebulas. And if we go to our scene here and twirl down nebula, you can see that there are five that are preloaded. So if we turn this one off, we'll go to nebula two, we'll go to nebula three. These ones are a little bit further over here. So we'll move our camera. You can see how great these look though. And the nice thing is that we can actually mix these together so we can have multiple ones on at the same time. So um, here's a couple that are kind of uh, bleeding into each other. Now these are also transparent, so you're getting your star field behind them poking through so you can see through them, which makes it even more realistic. And we can also move these around. So if we want to uh, kind of design our own sky, we can do that. And if we want to turn all of them on, just kind of uh, art direct and position them where we want to, we can just grab these planes and move them around. They're all set up so that they are kind of transparent and they overlap nicely with each other and they blend with those stars. So it's just a really nice setup. And then also, you'll notice that these textures are just a slot. If you want to bring in your own textures, you can do that as well and completely design this beautiful space scene. And you can also change the Z depth of these and then sort of have a little bit of depth on them, which is really great. So that's scene five, Nebula, and it's perfect for everything space related. Thank you.